Well, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to BMTV, where, as you can see, we are once again joined by the one, the only, Dr. Bob. Dr. Bob, hello. Hello, hello. Hello, thanks for coming in again. Well, thank you for having me back. It's been a while, hasn't it? It has. I think it was, did you say it was May last year? It was indeed, when we yeah. done the... Um Unicorn, Unicorn. That's yes, right, yeah. indeed. So even though we only showed that this year, we actually filmed it last year. So um, yes, so Dr. Bob, how's 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 life been? Um, for the pretty last good, year? pretty good in general. Um, had a busy Christmas and New Year. Yeah. Um, what else have we got? Oh, we're getting a big interest in the airfield designs, yeah. as I said to you before. Yeah. And uh, they seem to be growing and growing. Yeah, airfield, it just makes sense, doesn't yeah. it? So because of potential helium shortage and even forgetting helium shortage, the price of helium just, just rocketing. And not only that, it's the longevity of the items. Yeah, absolutely. And customers coming back, oh, that lasted such and such. It's still yeah. going, it's still going. Yeah. yeah. Now, speaking of rocketing. Yes. Nice segue to this. It is. Uh, is this yes, space? Indeed, I yeah. just thought of that. I'm quite yeah. pleased with that. Um, so we've got this. Today, you're going to be showing us something that is adding value. Yes. Um, and you've, you like that. You I love always that. like to do that. You're a yeah. big fan of adding value. Yeah. We've been talking about it for the last few weeks on BMTV right. in various different ways. Um, but the, you, you could buy a balloon like this. You could buy a helium filled it's from Qualitex, the, the, the fantastic spaceman. And the I think it's called the Amazing Astronaut, isn't it? Oh, I don't know what it's called. I was just calling it a fantastic spaceman. Because oh, okay. it fantastic. is a fantastic... Yeah, I don't yeah, know it what is. it's actually called, yeah. but it's a spaceman that's fantastic, isn't it? It is, yes. So uh, we'll put the, the, what it's actually called up on the screen. But um, yeah, his space theme, very popular yeah. this year. Probably Obviously. to do with 50 years since we landed on the moon. That's right. I remember it going up. Everything. I'm watching it on the black and white TV. <laughs> oh, I, I, I don't. I, that was the year I was born. Oh, right, so, okay. That's yeah, showing my age yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shh. Actually, hold on. Yeah, you are showing your age. Yeah, yes, you're right. I absolutely. Am. So, uh, what are we going to do? You could obviously just sell this balloon like this, couldn't you? Just we could. helium fill it, attach it to a weight, job done. But, but then we can make it a bit more exciting, can we? Yeah, that's not very Dr. Bobbish. No. So, <laughs> we need to. Um, we need to we need to do something else. So what are you going to show us? Right. Well, we're going to use these nice chrome balloons. Yes. Um, we've got a few of them here. So what we're going to do is put some attachments on. Shall I begin? Yes, please do. Okay. So we have our spaceman, and the thing is, he's okay air filled, but he could could be a bit a little bit wobbly. Yeah. So we need to secure him a little. Okay. So what I'm going to do is we're using this. Looks like a 160, doesn't it? That, that's not a 160. It's not, no. Oh, no, they don't do 160. They do not, no. I don't understand. Ah, well, that's the magic of it. Is that what? Dr. Bob magic? That's a Do Dr. Bob magic. It's an old technique that we used to use when we didn't have the right size balloon. You know what? We should do a BMTV balloon basics. We could do, can we? Let's yeah. do that, and then okay. we'll show you that in the screen somewhere. So what I'm doing here is just tying the, the potential 160 inside there, the chrome gold from silver I should say sorry and what I've done is put, created a loop around there just to make it a little bit more secure oh yes and more stable okay. yeah yeah very good tie that on here now and loop him around again there we are not to pull too tight there we go I always put a double knot in these mm. Because once you cut them, sometimes if they expand, they could break away. Nice and you've got to start all over again. Yeah. There we are. So that's the first part done. Do you use the chrome balloons a lot? Yes. I'm finding that they add a lot more value to the designs now. Absolutely. And people are wowed by them, especially the 11 inch as yeah, well in the yeah. designs. It's brilliant. I know when we saw the 11 inch at Spring Fair, not this year just gone, but last year. Yeah. And when Chrome were brand new, and saw them um, inside a jewel town, yeah. they were just oh, stunning. Oh, the, the, the colours you can create is is fantastic. Um, I've just recently done a few um, organic arches and added yeah. them in and made them into the five inch and all sorts. Yeah, brilliant. Now I'm going to secure the head as well. So mm -hmm. we're just going to place a piece around the neck and divide him in half, right the way around, keeping him quite firm as well. Loop him around nice and tight. There we go. Oh, we're losing a oh, oh, 160 or 260. Yep. So there we are. We've secured him now. And it just adds a bit more detail to the design. 
So that is considerably more, well, that is stable now. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Yeah, compared the way to what it was. it was earlier. I do this a lot with um, airfield designs because there's a couple of characters that are not as secure. So yeah. what I've done here now is measure from there across to give me a bit of size. Then I'm going to put a little pinch twist in there, like so. I knew that what that was called. You did? I did, yeah. I'm glad you did. I should get you making some of these no. bits now. No? <laughs> no, no. I'm very good at watching. There we are. And we're going to tie that one in. And then create another small pinch twist at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Like so. And then with this piece, where is it? And there we are. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Measure him over, like so. Then create a nice pinch twist. It's about an inch. Yeah. Okay. On the top, like so. Underneath. I tend to do this with the, the numbers as well. Yeah. Okay. The, the, the zeros, you know, I've got the Cortex zeros. And sometimes they don't stand secure. And when yeah. I'm doing the airfield bases, it's another attachment as well. All right, yeah, yeah. So, there we are. And another small one inch pinch twist. And that's done. What are you going to do with these bits? Uh -huh, we're going to use them shortly. Okay. Okay, should we Why take that away? What? That's gone funny. Ah, that's because I pushed the air too far down. Oh, I see. Yep. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at do. all. Okay. That that will be disposed of shortly. So okay. we've got our first part. He's nice and secure now, nice and firm. He yep. stands up straight compared to what he was earlier. Absolutely. Now we need a pack on the back. Okay. How'd you do that? Shall we show you? Yeah. We need now is the 350Q white. Is that that's, that's this one? one? Oh, these ones. Sorry. These ones. No, yeah. ones. Shall we demonstrate first and then show the finished result? Okay. Okay. I got a hand above to you. Thank you. So here we have the white 350 cues, and what we're going to do is create a nice backpack for this spaceman. So we're looking around eight to nine inches yep. in size. Okay. And what I'm going to do first of all is create a very small soft bubble and give it about six or sorry six or seven twists. When you say a soft bubble. Yeah, so I can you squeeze it down a little yeah, bit. Is yeah. that right? As you as you twist it, you squeeze it down. Yeah. Okay. So then I come across this side. Give that a little bit of a squeeze, and then come to this side. Twist around like this, and then I'm going to tuck that underneath my hand, and I'm going to repeat the same thing again, getting the same size. There we go. And then all I'm going to do is just tuck that underneath there. Then come around to the other side, give them a squeeze, and measure the two together so that they're in line. We talked about it before when you've been in and how accuracy just adds that value and adds it that does. quality, doesn't it? I, I think the more time you practice, because we were talking about earlier, weren't we? The practice makes perfect. And yeah. now for me, it gets a bit frustrating because I, I can't let anything go out unless it's done properly. Yeah, yeah. And the girls are the same in the shop as well. But then that's a good thing because it yeah. shows that you take pride in what yeah. you do. So. And it's keeping consistency because if you carry on doing that, it becomes automatic. Yeah. Automatic. And yeah. you can see something is wrong straight away then. Yeah. Then I'm going to give it another squeeze. Like so. So I've got, I would say, a one and a half inch bubble there. And the same on that side. Twist it round about three times. Bring it back to my body. Give that a little squeeze again. I try and keep these two measured so that they're straight there along this side. I give this approximately three turns and then bring the joint right in tight there and then roll it around once, twice, three times. And then repeat it and continue on. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So is that enough? Because we've got a BMTV on this. That's, we? There is a BMTV on this that we did when we did the golf. golf ah, the golf bag. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that was a while ago. Gosh, it was a couple of years ago. I think so. And that Can we was, bring out yeah, the, fi the finished product. Here's one. Oh, this one. Yeah. Oh, that yeah. One. That's this the one. one. Yeah. Okay. Here's one. But we you prepared earlier. That's right. We prepared earlier. We prepared, we prepared earlier. earlier. Well, let's just show with this on the ends. All we've done is pull the knot. 
like so. Just pull the knot and then hold the end and pinch it round. So we've got a nice pinch twist. Same again. Pull the knot so it's nice and soft and fold it back on itself like so and twist. That's just the way of hiding the knot. Yeah. Oh, and it becomes much neater then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there we are. And there we have our next section. Okay. So we'll get our spaceman back now. Now what if, I mean, that's, that's quite complex. It is, yes. Definitely complex for me. Mm -hmm. So what if I didn't feel comfortable? To, obviously, we were talking earlier about yeah. practice, and that's the biggest, yeah. probably the most important thing people could do yeah. when they're doing something like this. Don't be frightened of spending the money on the bag of balloons, because in the long term, yeah. you're going to benefit. Well, if you think about it, um, even with, you don't have to use the chrome to practice with it's the 350 cues. Yeah. Um, you buy in one bag, that's 50 to 100 balloons you're going to do. Yeah. That's not wasted. Yeah. It's, a, it's, it's getting value out of that five pounds or ten pounds you spent yeah and you've perfected your art exactly and I'm, and I'm a big thing when I do courses I say you must practice it's no good watching this video making one and selling it you need to perfect what you're doing mm. and, and the more you do it you, you can be more precise yeah and you don't have to some people like measuring their things but with all the years I've had to practice with I can automatically go to that size yeah, yeah. and uh, it does make better ballooning so speaking of training, yes. you, you, you're going to come down and do your first training course with us, aren't you? Yes, indeed. As I said, I'm excited. It's going to be the Twisting Made Easy. Twisting Made Easy. And if anybody can make Twisting Easy, it is Dr. Bob. Well, I hope so. So, <laughs> so and you'll be learning this sort of thing and yep. all sorts of other things. Yeah, different techniques. We're showing all sorts of different techniques and how to combine them together, making a couple of characters, flowers. So these are sort of things that you can then be transferring over to balloon yeah, decor, that's right, or are yeah. they specifically for twisters? Well, no, it's not. It's for decorators as well, because obviously if you're a, a twister, you can adapt to adding um, ascents and things to designs quicker. Yeah, yeah. But this course is ideal for somebody who's having problems and troubles with twisting. It's going to take you from the basics upwards. And of course, what we've learned from everybody that's been on and used any modeling balloons is it's a great way to add value so yeah. this is really an adding value course effectively you could say and uh, you get a lot of hints and tips from me as yeah. well which yeah. is valuable in itself i think yeah. to be honest with well, you've been doing this a couple of years now haven't you yeah. so how long is it <laughs> Over 25 years now, I think it's coming up to 26 years 26 now. Years. Yeah. So you've got a bit of knowledge in Just there. a little bit, yeah. 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 Okay, let's carry on. Okay, um, if you just pass me that piece down there. Just this we one? Could, we could really simplify things okay. by using a, a, yes please, a 646. And all that's happened here is we've got a three fi uh, sorry, 646 inflated to the front with a apple twist in it. Okay. And that's all it is. Do you want me to demonstrate that? Or? Why not? Yes, we? Okay. And what I'm going to do is reverse inflate, which we've done a... We have done a BMTV. Was it a Balloon Basics on that it one? It is, indeed, it yes. Let some air out. So then we want, roughly, twist him to there. I'll just use a bit of white here. Tie him off a second. Now, I'm just gonna tie him off there. Mm -hmm. I could let that down and make an apple twist, which is what I've done there. Yeah. Ooh. Oh! Oh, there's a bit of sand on there from earlier, wasn't there? Right. And there we are, we got the 646 again. Now we could tie an attachment there to create some fire coming out of it if we wanted okay, to. Okay, yeah. Okay, so, but we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it simple today. So, what I'm going to do is hold on to the knot here, push in, hold it with my fingers, grab the other end. I'm making this one slightly bigger than the previous one. We've moved that out of the way so we've got a bit more room. And all I'm doing is twisting around and then cut this off and tie a knot in it. I think the apple twist has got to be my favorite twist. Yeah? Yeah. It's cool though. It can do so much with it. Yeah. 
And there we are, cut that off. Tie in there. And then I can get rid of these bits or so keep them on there as an attachment. And then just pull these two tightly together like so. Tie. And then what I'll do, I'll show you quickly with one of these. I always give these a little bit of a stretch like that to keep the inflation consistent. Yeah. So it doesn't go umpy bumpy. Okay. And then what we can do here, to keep it simplified, we put a twist in there, create a pinch twist like we did earlier. Wrap it round and make it slightly shorter than the front piece. So you've got that there. Can you see? There we go. And tie it in. And put another pinch twist in there, like so. So again, this is just adding more detail. Adding more detail, yeah. And this is the simplified version of it. I bet you can just keep going and going yeah. and going, can't you? Well, I, I love to be creative anyway, as you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, my favourite thing, playing with the... 260 cubes. So we got that roughly there. So we need to measure so with it, when he's got the backpack that that's going to fit. Okay. So that will go there, twist in here, and re just repeat what we've just done. And this is without, whoops, this is with the same balloon that we used earlier on. So we're not wasting anything. Yeah. You were saying earlier you recycle balloons for your window displays. That's right, yes. The foil balloons and sometimes we can recycle some of the latex balloons as yeah. well. How do you recycle latex balloons? Ah, that's the magic. We can talk about that another time. Okay, maybe we should like do that. That. Yeah. Oh, he's a tease, isn't he? <laughs> Always keep something for later, <laughs> isn't it? There we are. So now we have a simplified backpack and all we do then is just attach it here attach it here and add an attachment there and there yeah, yeah. and then you will put it the right way around obviously <laughs> of course of course and then we can add some detail with some vinyl yeah or you can yeah. do the old-fashioned or the old-fashioned pen. pen yeah so that's a simplified version okay. of it okay and this is our complicated so this is an ideal thing because we've got one broken yeah quickly repair it there we are quickly repair it so we come in it's as if you intentionally wanted to show how to do this, Bob. I know, it's crazy, isn't it? So there we are. We've got that one tied in there. Come on the other side. Measure up. That's the, the difference twisting enough times. Let's say only the one has come undone. Yeah. So now, I'll go up here and do two bubbles. Because if I lose the one, at least I can grab the other one. And then I can tie a knot in this. And then bring him in. Whoops, a daisy. Is that one gone? Done it on purpose, isn't it? I think you are doing this on purpose. Things go wrong sometimes. They do, and it's knowing how to cope with that. But they never go wrong for Dr. Bob, so he has to pretend things have gone wrong. And all you do, it's not about panicking, it's about how you deal with it, as we Absolutely. said before, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Dealing with the situation. There we go. Everything is fixable with balloons, isn't it? It is indeed, yes. There we go. I've got to tell you, I use balloon bonds for something completely non-balloon related. Go on. The LED strip lights yeah. that um, we showed recently at Balloon in Mar not Balloon in Marvelous, at Ballo Lights, Balloons, Action, the training course we did Oh, yeah, I was going to come Natalie. down for that. I that, was, oh, yeah. that was really good. 
but you can get the strips of lights. I've got some for my daughter's bedroom and put them all around the underside of her bed, but it wasn't very sticky, so balloon bond works there really well. That's excellent. All sorts of uses. So there we are. Okay. So all I'm going to do is create a pinch twist bubble on there. Attach here by just rolling this around a couple of times. And the same on the other side, if you wouldn't mind holding that please, Greg. The same size, which is about there. Another pinch twist. And then all you do is add to the top of there. Okay, I see. To do the same, but we've got we've got one we prepared yeah. earlier. So and we have indeed. That's great. So there you go. That's what it looks like. So this is one you prepared earlier. Yep. And you added added a flag on there. We did indeed. And added this to a base. Now that's that's far better, isn't it? Than, it is. Yeah. Than just selling a, a balloon on its own, helium yeah. filled particularly as this is all air filled, so the cost is next to nothing, really. That's right. The foil is probably the most expensive part, isn't it? It is, yeah. And um, yeah, it's it's great. We've shown how to do these before. So the bases, there is a BMTV balloon basics on that. Um, and then you, what, <coughs> what else can we do with this? That's, that's well, great for that, a table. That's a nice centerpiece for a buffet yeah. or a, a present table. Yeah. But we could create a, an entrance piece as well. Okay, here we have our spaceman. And there we have a, Column. Well, column, small column, yeah. So we're going to attach this onto that, aren't we? Yeah, we are indeed. So I've got myself a nice uh, 260 Q. Chop that one in there. And just gently bring him down now. And as you can see, I've already added a few bits and pieces already. Yeah, so adding even more value. Yes, indeed. There we are. And then that becomes a fantastic column. Mm -hmm. He's been a bit saggy there. Why is that? I think we've been, because we've been knocking him around a little bit. Okay. But you can just adjust it and yep. play with it and get it, get it spot up. Hey, steady, come on. There you go. So that's fantastic. I think that's yep. great. And as you say, adding more value, adding the stars, yep. all of that. And they're just stuck on, air filled that's stars. Right. Yeah, stuck on, air filled stars, yeah. Oh, that's absolutely fantastic. Well, Dr. Bob, yes. as you well know, yes. as the guest, you have to ask the question of the week. And I understand. Ooh. Should we add the other bits? Or? What? There's more? More. There's more. There's, There's more. more. Shall I go and get them? You go and get them. Yes, oh, okay. I feel I should, I should moonwalk off. <laughs> The planet arrive. I was here never very good at moonwalking. <laughs> Don't ask me to do it because I can't. <laughs> yeah, here we have the um, Quartex Agate. Uh, I've used the Celestial, which is, matches up with this, which is perfect. Yeah. And um, created these out of the 11-inch Agate. They're great. They are. They, they really work, don't they? They do work so well for the, the space theme, don't they? Yeah. yeah. And you've got all the gases floating around on the, on, the, on, the, on the balloon there. On the planet, I should say. What do they call them? They call them, is it gas giants? Gas or giants, that's yeah. right. Yeah, we've got two gas giants here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, we shall attach these in now. What's he mean, gas giants? I was talking about planets, Bob. I know indeed. <laughs> so was I. There we go. And as you see, I've taped these ones. Whoops, I need to pull that in a bit tighter. So you're just wrapping that around the balloons to get it yep. as tight as you need it. Yep, that's it. Oh, cool. There we go. And then. Bring this one in. There we are. We can turn it to wherever way we want it. You didn't bother balloon bonding those ones, but no, you did no. balloon bond these ones. That's so right, yeah. 
Well, I would bloom bond these to make them secure because if the children start playing with them, then yeah. Yeah. And there we go. We have our. That's brilliant. Our column. Absolutely love it. So let's hold him up. There you yeah. go. There we have you straighten him up. There we go. Brilliant. There we are. Well, as I was saying, as our guest, you yes. get to ask the question of the week. We do indeed. And so you, you have one prepared. This I have week, one yeah? prepared this time. Okay. So what is and it? And it is. What's the most difficult balloon you've ever made? Difficult balloon design? Design, creation, anything. Okay. Most difficult thing that you've had to do. Okay. With balloons? With balloons, yes. Okay. Obviously with balloons, yes. So there you go. Question of the week. What's the most difficult thing you've had to do with balloons? It can be big, it can be small, whatever you like. Please leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. Dr. Bob, it's been a pleasure. Thank, thank you, you very much so for having much me again. For coming in. And thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing. And hopefully we will see you again next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.